Hi, this is Matt with My Mobileville, and I want to show you an app that I consider a must-have for an Android device, and that is Phone Weaver. Anytime someone gets a new Android phone and they'll ask me, what do you think are one of the top apps that I should get, I definitely recommend Phone Weaver, and here's why. Basically, with Phone Weaver, you're able to set profiles, so in other words, you can have uh, different settings for your volume, for your ringtone, whether Bluetooth is on or off, the GPS, and many other settings, so those profiles can change based on time, agenda, whether you're docked or not, and also by where your physical location is. And you can create as many profiles as you like. I'll show you here my notification screen that you can see I can jump to um, Phone Weaver, and right now I'm in day mode. I've got it set so that day mode actually goes from 6 a.m. until 11 p.m. six seven days a week. And then I actually have a night mode that you can see there is actually set from 11 o'clock at night until 6 in the morning and then there's different settings. The phone goes down to very quiet, the screen dims, uh, turns on Wi-Fi so that overnight if I have anything that I might want to download, uh, there's an automatic podcast, that kind of thing, then it can do it over Wi-Fi and settings such as that. And I'll go over a couple of the other different profiles that I have as well. So this is very, very powerful so that you don't have to worry about being in a meeting and suddenly having your phone ring because you forgot to put it on silent and it embarrasses you. Or you put it on silent, you come out of the meeting and a little bit later you miss a phone call because you forgot you put your phone on silent. Instead, this is provided that you put your meetings into your device. I've found an alarming number of people who actually don't use their calendar uh, during the day uh, with their phone so that in that case then the profile is not going to activate because you don't have those calendar events in there. But at least those that you do put in then an agenda driven one like that I've got here for meeting mode anytime I've got something in my calendar then it is going to go into um, not really a totally silent mode I still can get notified via my phone but the ringer is off and if I do happen to have a voicemail then it's going to show uh, turn the vibration off so I don't have the phone sitting there vibrating and being that's almost as annoying as having a uh, phone call ringing so again that's all set based on if I've got a, an event in my calendar that shows me as busy it automatically does it as soon as the event is over it goes back into automatic into day mode or wherever it might be um, so I'll show you there's also mute by default is a setting that is there I'll go into day mode here and just show you that if I oh, I hit the wrong thing I'm gonna go to edit here in a moment I actually selected day mode, so I'm giving it a moment here. Okay, I'm going to go into edit profiles so we can see some of the profiles that are detailed here. Now, there's four main tabs. There's what kind of trigger the profile is going to have, then control your sounds, control communication things, and then some other options. So you can see on this one that the trigger type is time. There's a choice of manual, time, location, agenda, or connections. The connections thing would be like if you were docked, etc. And then, as to whether or not this can override. By default that's selected. So in other words you've got one profile that's set and then it'll override the other. So that if I'm in day mode and then suddenly I go into a meeting then that meeting mode is going to override day mode and then it'll kick right back into day mode when it's done. So you can just that's basically default and can leave that alone. You can see where I could set my trigger days and time. It was just every day of the week at 6 a.m. and then to the sounds this is just basically where you're able to adjust uh, you see I've got sound and vibrate so on and so forth for different sound type things voice calls the so normal day mode I'm at 100% volume and etc going over to the com thing by default my Wi-Fi is off a GPS is uh, not changed I have the phone on you can see you can do auto answer as well and have your Bluetooth uh, on or off or unchanged etc <clears throat> now we get on over here to the you can change your profile icon. You can see what it shows up here in the top of my screen as far as which icon it has. You have a choice for that. And then you can change your screen brightness. You can also do things like what wallpaper. So right now I've got like a city wallpaper is for day mode. You can put the device into car mode and that of course would be for a different profile. Um, and then you could set things like to launch an application. You could have it automatically turn on your GPS and have it turn on uh, Google navigation for that matter. So you can see you could have different applications run based on different profiles. So I'll come back out of this one and just show you that if I'm in meeting mode and I look at, sorry, go to the sounds, you can see that I end up going to silent when I'm in meeting mode and a couple other different settings, obviously. Nighttime, then I've got the sound to where it's actually on um, sound and vibrate. And actually it's because I just changed this recently. So I've got the ringer at 30% 
and that was because that I missed a call the other night when we had a, a tornado in the area and was receiving a phone call from my mother-in-law and I had the phone actually all the way to silent so that wasn't very helpful that could have been very bad so I changed that profile around I've made some other ones on my own like a low battery so that if I'm below I can't remember what the agenda is um, if the battery no wait a minute that's not the setting oh if the battery is below 30 percent there's my setting then I go into this uh, low battery mode which basically I made a bunch of settings in it to say go ahead and turn the screen down very dim make sure the GPS is off Bluetooth is off uh, those kind of things so that I basically could go into a very power saving mode if I were down that low and I'm not near a power source I don't have my spare battery with me and then of course you can always have a manual mode where you can just automatically choose it as well so um, in this case the default manual is two and a half hours of being in silent and you could change that around and just make that be a one hour thing so if you unexpectedly went into a meeting you could just tap uh, for it to be in mute it's going to mute it and an hour later then it's going to come back just to be in your normal mode if that was your day mode or whatever mode you might be I'll also show you one here that I just created for this I haven't really used this recently but this one is based on location so this one I'm just calling work and so essentially what I'm saying is when I am near work put me in work mode and I'll show you if I go to edit locations then here's the work one and you can see the GPS coordinates it shows for it and so this is the vicinity in which I work now I don't believe that you can change that uh, radius that you see there as far as what the area is that you're covered but basically I tapped in the general vicinity of where the building is where that I work and so if I enter and I'm in this area then and you can see it, it it gives you some play because maybe my GPS isn't on so it's still gonna know my location based on cell phone so then if I am somewhere at least in this area then it's gonna put me into work mode automatically and that is very cool and you can end up having numerous profiles at a specific location if you wanted to and let it just be um, you know it's location first and then whatever other kind of profile if it was based on time and that kind of thing then it could do it as well so that is a quick look at all of the different profiles that there are and let me go back just to the main screen and I'll show you how that if I'm in day mode I go back to my home screen and you can see and you're not going to see a lot of difference in my settings but you will see the wallpaper so here's day mode and you can see I've just got this wallpaper called city now if I go up here and I drag down my screen and I go back to the phone weaver screen and I say okay now I'm just going to go into meeting mode and you'll notice up at the top once it kicks into meeting mode you're going to see the icon change and now I'm in meeting mode which basically has got me quiet so you can see that the a uh, little not symbol there on the sound no GPS it does have the Bluetooth remains unchanged because I did have my Bluetooth on now if I go back to the home screen you can see I've got a slightly different wallpaper so it's kinda cool that aside from having the icon up here that shows you what mode you're in then I could see it from the wallpaper as well and just know that I'm in meeting mode and that's just kind of a fun thing to be able to do more than anything um, as far as changing a wallpaper let me go to night mode and show you that if I switch to night and you'll end up seeing like a little picture of the moon show up here I think I hit it let me try again alright waiting for night mode here we go so now night mode comes on and you see the Wi-Fi indicator automatically showing and now let me go back to the home screen and this one I chose is just a little bit darker so that when and the screen is dimmer you can't really tell here on the camera but the screen is is at about 30 percent brightness so that if I were to have to look at my screen in the middle of the night it's not blinding me versus I usually have it on close to full bright when it's daytime so and now if I just go back over here and I'll just show you that if I end up scrolling to the top then select auto then it's going to go into day mode because now it's going to say okay I'm going to automatically change it and boom it goes to day mode and so now I'm back to that blue screen I'm in day mode very handy phone weaver doesn't cost very much I think right now it is on sale for $3.99 and normally a little bit more than that but 
well worth it. A must have on an Android device. Check it out. You can get the QR code here on the site or just look up Phone Weaver in the Android market.